That's Marcellus Wiley, that dude. Sir. Coming up, we'll tell you if Father Time has finally caught up with Tom Brady. And just what the heck is wrong with them Warriors up top? But we start with a wit log like every day. So what you got today, Big Dog? All right, forgive me, Kansas City, for I'm about to sin. Mm -hmm. Drew Brees should win MVP. What? There, I said it. What? And I mean it. And I don't think anything that happens this weekend will change my mind. Drew Brees is my choice for MVP over Patrick Mahomes, my favorite player playing on my favorite team. Fans like me, who needs enemies? <laughs> well, my opinion on the 2018 MVP isn't anti-Patrick Mahomes. It's pro-Drew Brees. He's earned the MVP award. He deserves it. He's owed it. It would be a stain on the NFL if Brees exits the league without having won its most prestigious honor, the Associated Press MVP award. Brees is the NFL's modern-day Walter Payton, the most respected and beloved player across the league. I know, I know. The MVP award isn't about respect and love. It's about performance. Breeze's performance in 2018 is second to none. He has the highest passer rating in the NFL this season at 115.7, which is the sixth best all time. He's on pace to shatter his own NFL record for completion percentage. He's connected on 74% of his passes. He's thrown a career low five interceptions. The Saints have the best record in football. Drew Brees deserves the MVP. Now, I admit, so does my man Patrick Mahomes. The Magic Man is likely going to be just the third NFL quarterback to throw 50 touchdowns in a season. Tom Brady and Peyton Manning are, are the others. Mahomes has 48 TD passes heading into this weekend's game against the Raiders. Mahomes is in a battle with Ben Roethlisberger for the lead in passing yards this season. Mahomes has been sensational this year. He's clearly the most exciting player to enter the league in a long time. His value is unquestioned. If he had a better defense, his numbers would likely be even better, and the Chiefs would have had more success against the Chargers, Patriots, Seahawks, and the Rams. In my view, Mahomes and Breeze are tied, and the tie should go to the 39-year-old legend who has never won the award. I do think Breeze's years of service and legacy matter. Why not complete Breeze's resume? Why not put the final touch on his reputation? Don't do Drew Breeze the way Mike Dicka did Walter Payton in the Super Bowl. Remember when Dicka let the refrigerator score a touchdown rather than let sweetness dive over the top? It's a stain on Dicka's resume, not Payton. Drew Breeze ending his career without an MVP would be a stain to the NFL. Give it to him. Mahomes will win it next year. All right, joining the desk now are Fox NFL analysts James Harrison and TJ Husmanzada. Marcellus, finally reached a conclusion. I'm going with Drew Brees. I'm sure you disagree with me. You're on the Mahomes wagon, but yeah. I think Drew Brees deserves the MVP. That's how you spent your Christmas Grinch over there, <laughs> making a conclusion like this. How blasphemous. Came in the day after Christmas to here it is. This is crazy. You know, it's Box Day, especially in Canada. Shout out to my Canadian family. Uh, they celebrate today. This is a holiday. I shouldn't be here. But I'm here, and I got to deal with this madness. All right. I don't understand the fever, the, the love to try and take this trophy away from Patrick Mahomes, who's been the front runner and who's been the MVP candidate this entire year. There was a time where Drew Brees looked like he had that award and he gave it away. So let's not just argue ad, ad nauseum about how great they are. Let's talk about the moments that they weren't so great. Their worst moments this year, because that's how the Heisman Trophy was decided this year. It was decided because of the worst moments of those two guys, not necessarily the great moments. So let's look at Drew Brees' worst moments. Oh, my God. Did Drew Brees actually lose a ball game for his squad where Patrick Mahomes never did this year? He did. He had one game where he had a 71 quarterback rating and 127 yards against the Dallas Cowboys. And if Drew Brees was anything near the MVP standard Drew Brees, they win that game. Patrick Mahomes has not lost a game this year where his quarterback rating wasn't 103 or higher. So his worst is by far better than Drew Brees' worst. Who did Patrick Mahomes lose to this year? Let's say the teams. Patriots, Seahawks, Rams, and Chargers. Okay, people could take that and digest it. Let's look deeper. He lost to Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, Phillip Rivers, and who am I forgetting? Jared Goff. Jared Goff. <clears throat> MVP candidates, 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 candidates. My point is, if you want to look at the bad version of them, 
it's not even close how bad Drew Brees has been in comparison to Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes has lived by an MVP standard this entire year. He's the MVP. I'm just of the opinion it should not be a Lifetime Achievement Award. It's a disservice to Patrick Mahomes. Yep. It's, oh, he'll win it next year. It's no guarantee he'll have this same type of year. Now, has Drew Brees played well enough to win the MVP? Yes. It's just somebody's played a little better, and that's Patrick Mahomes. It's no... This is first year as a starter, and we think he'll play 10, 15 years. He'll have many more opportunities. Well, Drew Brees had plenty of opportunities as well. It, it should not be a Lifetime Achievement Award because it's a disservice to Patrick Mahomes. And if you delve into a little... Dude, the defense that New Orleans has, it, it's... It makes his team, you just, oh, he has a better record. His, the defense is so good, Patrick Mahomes is pretty much doing everything in Kansas City. And I know you want Drew Brees to win it, no, but no. we're pulling up your Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, so it's... Well, I'm with it, him. It's, I'm with him. I, yeah, I, 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 I got it. Yeah, I got I to go Drew Brees. And the reason I got to go Drew Brees is because, like you said, it's not a lifetime achievement award, I understand that. But there's other factors besides just MVP. Because if you get somebody that, say, their team went... 6-10, and 10, and they threw for 51 touchdowns and five, 550 yards, 5,500 yards, would you give him the MVP? Absolutely not. Okay. He has a better team. They have a better record. They have the number one seed. Drew Brees is playing lights out. He has a better rating. He has less interceptions. Of course, he has more touchdowns, but all Kansas together. Kansas City is the number one all seed. All together. Not yeah. yet, maybe. Well, not 12. Maybe. They will be. You got a 13 and 2, which will probably be 14 and, and 2, and you got an 11 and 4, which will probably be maybe 12 and two, 12, 12 and 4. So either way it goes, all that put together, MVP is just not straight MVP, because if that was the case, you would have said I'd have gave it to that quarterback that had a 6 and 10 record that threw all those numbers, but you wouldn't. That's the reason I'm giving it to Brees. Not because of the lifetime, because of what he did this year and his whole team and how they look. You mean a game where he lost? 10 to 13. He lost the game 10 to 13. See, he was so, listen, 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 like, if, 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 listen. If, if Mahomes 30. was so great, he could have overcome his old See, sorry, sorry defense. The reason, and threw for, what? Threw for 56,000. The, the 50, reason uh, Marcellus' argument makes so much sense is this. If we're pulling hairs, you look at them at their worst. If we're pulling hairs and their best is very comparable, uh, no, 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 no. if you look at them at their worst... It's not even you, close. It's why not wouldn't close. It You're saying head. one game. No, no, but y'all acknowledge that we're pulling hairs. <laughs> yes, I, I believe y'all acknowledge so. I'm not. I don't think it's that close. I, I, I believe so. I believe so. Pulling hairs. Yes. Then why wouldn't you go, oh, 14 and 2, 12 and 4? Again, if we're pulling hairs, because then Drew one Reese guy's leading better the better overall team. team. He has a better overall he has team. A better that offense. defense. He got better receivers and, and running backs and all that over there. In, uh, running yeah. backs, yeah. They lost. I know the running months. backs, yeah. And can we split they lost, huh? not pull Hey, Michael I'm Thomas saying. is a dog. I'm yes. just telling you. It's why comparable. I'm going with he's Rich. got one wide receiver, Michael Thomas. Uh, he's got one. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, and again, I hate, I'm, sounds like I'm talking Who bad he about got? Mahomes. He got Travis Kelsey. He got yeah, Tyreek Tyree Hill. Hill. Sammy Watkins oh, hasn't okay. been not that healthy. He don't count. But, he ain't been but playing. their receiving core, Conley, some of, it's a complete receiving we're core. We're on a shaky premise right now because Vegas is saying we're not splitting hairs. Vegas says Patrick Mahomes has the lead. Slim lead, but the lead. So there's no tie going on even by the numbers. But Vegas is also respecting what I'm saying, which is flip the coin over. About Vegas. Okay, <laughs> I'm just giving you odds. Okay. Uh, so let's flip the coin over because at their best, I still say Patrick Mahomes has been better. But at their worst, there's no argument. And that's what just decided our last voting at the collegiate level. And I'm thinking that these voters are going to look at it in the same kind of storyline. Well, to me, I don't care about the Heisman Trophy. Okay, how respect. How they decide the Heisman Trophy. Because that is crazy. They don't even play equal competition. Right. And they don't have a legacy yeah, play in there is, like this. But, but, but <laughs> I, again, if we're splitting hairs, why can't we not go to... Look at this man's body of I work. I get what you're saying, but don't you? That's that's completely unfair to Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Because it's, Drew it's Brees really has not. never been given an MVP. Sorry, Pat, we're going to give it to him this year. We got you next year. Right. That's unfair. It, yeah. What it, if he never has this season again? Dan Marino, second year. Oh, you lost the Super Bowl? Don't uh, worry, Dan. Marino Dan had plenty of other Don't years. worry, Dan. You'll get back <laughs> and win it. You know what? I'm, what? About to, I'm about to backtrack on my Heisman deal because I'm about to bring another one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'm, I'm going to bring another they do it all the time and with the Academy Awards, the Grammys and all. They get, hey, man, this person has deserved this, has never gotten it. This may not be their best work, but we're going to give it to them anyway because Denzel deserves it or whomever they've 
given these Lifetime Achievement Awards. And, 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 and I can't even say this. We can't really argue that this isn't Drew Brees' best work. He's got his highest QB rating. Yeah. He's about to win that for, for the year. And he's, the team's about to be 14-2. and two. Mm. So here's my problem. At the core of sports is competition and integrity. We start robbing that just to give out an award because you never fully won it prior to this moment. Rob, we, Rob is a strong That's not word. my reasoning, though. My reasoning is simply because I feel like his team is better with his performances versus Patrick's performances hasn't got them 14 wins. But they... Too few. No matter how Too good it is. Too fewer if we're going to go to... That's significant, it, it, it is, but we still got the same result. You may be a number... You are one seed. I may be a one seed. Regardless of that, my defense has also given up 51 points. We lost. In a game <laughs> we should have won. <laughs> 51, you, 28, what, the 31, and, and 40. These are games we're losing. And Drew Brees went out there, and they lost the game 13 to 10. 13 to 10. 13 to 10. Like, Patrick yeah. Mahomes is like, if you ever... Defense hold another team to 13 points. Trust me how this is going to play out. I can't nitpick all those games because I, I can't right now just instantly call them up. Okay. But Patrick Mahomes, and again, I sound like I'm bad. Forgive me, Patrick. He's thrown 11 interceptions. Some of these points you point <laughs> to, 50 that's, touchdowns, a, high, 11 that's a high number in this league, the way the game He's is going played now. It, it's 50, 50 touchdowns, touchdowns high. and 5,000 <laughs> yards in his first year as a starter. Say his it, first year as a starter. It's unheard of. Which ones so are you saying? Unheard of? his first year, then he should... He should he I got should a real question. Why not the 17th? I, I, I got a real question. This is not even rhetorical. We all played the game. Mm -hmm. What's more daunting, because they're both amazing, to have a body of work, entire career of Drew Brees, who deserves an MVP at some time, versus your first time starting, first year tilting in the NFL. Not only are you good, not only are you great, but you're the best at your position, best in the league. Which one's more difficult? Obviously, we know what Patrick Mahomes is uh, doing. That's more. another thing, another little mm -hmm. chip you put into the Patrick Mahomes bucket. What he's doing is unprecedented. You just, you don't see this. No, you don't see this. Bruce. 39, yeah. and it's very rare to see what he's doing so you can at go, 39. No, it ain't. You can even that out. Tom Brady won MVP at 40. At, I'm about, let me add. 39, and the guy's barely Tom six Brady feet gave tall. All time, this is one of the great stories in NFL history, this undersized quarterback to put together this 20-year amazing run. Oh. And, and to have the kind of respect it is. It and, is. and love he has around oh. the league. He's, Walter, he's the Walter oh. Payton of this era. Oh. Give him the damn trophy. Justin Gatlin, you came in second all them times when you saying, but give him the gold. Just give him the gold. He's he so run. close. He's <laughs> run as fast as anybody in the league. He, they 14-2 and two got the best record in the league. Yeah. No. I, listen, I hope.